All right, here we have a pair of Fly Maverick MX boots. Just bought them uh, on sale, they're the 2018 version, so they are old stock. Got them for $80, so cheap as chips. Just gonna unbox them, not gonna review them. Um, take them on three day ride, so I should better give them a decent review after that. But, all right, let's have a look at what's in the box. Oh my God, there's boots in the box. What a surprise. So, they're a bit of a more old school style. Um, obviously fluoro, but they got the replaceable sole as well, which is actually quite good. Um, trying them on at the shop. Here's the other side for you. They definitely have a bit of an old school ta uh, feel. They're not as snug and shoe feeling, you know, shoe feeling as newer boots like the, the newer flies they had there. Definitely a much better fit. Um, you know, more sculpted and molded to your foot, and so are the Alp Alpine Star Tech 3s they had there. But yeah, having a quick look, look like a pretty nice boot, especially for uh, $80, which is why I got them, and they just happen to be my size there. So we've got four buckles that you can see they kind of clip in the front there. Easy to use, action's not too bad. Um, the newer boots have gone down to three buckles. They're usually thicker strap. And they have one, two, and then three, um, which is probably a better system, but these will do fine. Uh, what else have they got? Very solid plastic, very solid. Not sure if, I presume that's leather. I haven't looked, um, but I've got that size nine of 43. This is the base and the soles. Not a lot of grip there, to be honest. Not a lot of grip. In the front, we've got the steel cap toe. Pretty decent stitching all the way through. Uh, internally, these are a bit rough, aren't I, on the new gear? Open them up, you get to look at my feet at the same time, too. Probably can't see a lot in there, to be honest. A little bit of cushion down the bottom, not a lot. So, I dare say these, these are the style of boots that. Once you wear them in, they'll be very comfortable. It's just that initial couple of rides, they're a bit shit. Because uh, they're really stiff. They're gonna provide a lot of protection. This, this is quite stiff here, hard plastic. So once they wear in, they should be really good, I'm hoping. Uh, the reviews online from them are quite positive for the for this uh, model, 2018 shape. So hopefully they do a good job for me. But, um, Initial impression is pretty good. Just definitely an old school style of boot and not your newer molded style. Whether that's good or bad, take it as you will because you know some people like this. You can replace the sole. You just take them to a boot maker or what do you call a boot maker? I can't even remember. Um, and they can just put a whole new sole on them for you. So then you got a new boot that lasts a really long time as long as you can replace all the straps and stuff, which I imagine you can having a look. Yeah, there's screws to replace them all. You might have some issues with the straps so that's where I'm thinking your replacing is gonna be a bit tricky. Yeah something to look into because that's behind a whole barrier here so you can't really get it to them just screw them on and off so hopefully if anything breaks it's the buckles and not the straps. But yeah, a bit, bit leery, a bit wild coloured, but that's fine. That's price is right, baby. So we'll see how they go. Definitely do a review for them soon. All right, catch us later. Keep it on the back wheel, people.